Well, Dr. Frank Marches is a senior astronomer at the SETI Institute and chief scientific officer at Unistellar, who joins me now. Frank, th thanks very much for your time. Huge excitement there among the team. J just give us a sense as to why this is such a big deal. Well, it's the first time we are sending a probe to impact an asteroid, and we are nearly had no idea what it will happen, in fact. We were not even sure this mission will succeed in impacting the asteroid. And then it was a fireworks, basically. Something unexpected happened. Right. So, so tell us a little bit more about what did happen, because, I mean, the whole point is to divert it off its trajectory. Yeah, so we saw a brightening from the ground here. We, we use our unistellar network in Reunion Island uh, in the Indian Ocean to be able to see uh, the impact. And we saw the brightening of the, of the asteroid just at the impact and then the clouds of material formed around it. And uh, this is an indicative that we have a plume that formed after the impact and the asteroid is probably made of uh, rubble and small fragments. So I, I suppose the point about this is, um, I mean, we look at it on the screen and think, OK, well, you hardly miss that as it comes herring towards you. But this is a tiny object, I suppose, in the grand scheme of things in space. Yeah, it's uh, the target is the moon of an asteroid. So we're talking about something which is 100 meters in diameter. And uh, the spacecraft is going at 23,000 kilometers per hour. So, of course, nobody can control a spacecraft like this. We have computers on board who basically look at the image and adjust the trajectory of the spacecraft, so impact the, the asteroid moon. And uh, that's a success, and that's something that we were not 100% sure it will work. Right, so we see the success, we see the excitement among the team there. What is it that you now want to draw from this experience to know just how much you are capable of doing? So what we're going to see now, it's probably the, the clouds of dust going to disappear slowly, but then the trajectory of the moon will slightly change. Uh, there is a ton of models which have been developed by my colleagues to estimate what kind of change will we see. Will we see the, the asteroid spinning faster around the small moon spinning faster? Will we see the, the period of the moon changing? So we are going to continue monitoring this asteroid over the next years to basically be able to see a deflection of the asteroid uh, moon orbit so we have an idea whether or not uh, we can deflect an asteroid using this technique right and, and just one last point frank so for mostly for our viewers who might be wondering how close this was to us where did all this take place uh, this is 10 times the distance earth moon to give you an idea so that's something far away of course right safe as houses for now frank thank you very much indeed good to speak to you Thank you, David. Bye.